Oh my god. Gas speechless. Don't even know what to say. So, let's start. Sunday's episode starts off where Nicole and Christine. No. Sunday's episode starts off after the double eviction when Hayden was evicted. Nicole was running around the house and she was crying and she was saying how she can't trust anybody. She was calling out Frankie and um, Christine, telling them both that you both were 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 in alliance with me and Hayden and you guys turned on us. And I actually didn't remember that. And I told my sister, my sister was watching with me, girl. So I was like, I don't remember that part. And they showed the flashback, like day 42 or whatever. And then they showed Frankie making the alliance. And then um, Frankie's like, okay, you know, whatever, trying to deny it. And I love the fact that they played the flashback to the black and white. Oh, that was so epic and funny. And Christine, I don't think she said much. But Zach started to say, you know, Nicole's calling out Frankie. And I'm start, I'm, and I'm kind of believing her. And I'm like, yes. I'm like, yes. Like, yay. Yeah. Oh, but uh, that later goes on to sadness later. So, um... After that, you know, I don't know what happened. The only thing I remember is, um, she, um, Caleb went to Frankie and he told him, I kind of believe what Nicole said. And he's like, oh, well, you, it's not true, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then Caleb's like, well, part of me feels like it's true or whatever. And then the HOH competition comes. It was a new competition, I think. It was one or two. So they would give you a... So it was like an eye chart, and then the words would get smaller, and then it was basically um, um, a clue, and then you had to pick one or two, depending on what it was. The first head apostle was Nicole, and me and my sister were so happy, because we're now Nicole fans now, because for me, I love Pow Pow, but she got evicted, and I don't know, six weeks later, I finally have a house guest I want to win. But um, the, second, um, H the second winner was... Dumb old, dumbass Christine. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, like, oh, I can't stand her. Someone please throw a drink in her face, please. So, um, Christine and I guess Nicole made a pact to each other, saying that they wouldn't backdoor each other. Anyways. Um... Frankie goes to them and he said, oh, you know, I want to work with you guys. Um, I think you, Nicole, should nominate. I think the nominee should be Cody, Derek, Caleb, and Zach, whatever. And then Nicole's like, and then, and then he, um, Frankie was like, we'll work with you and we'll have your back. And then Christine's like, uh, Frankie needs to stop putting his words into my mouth because I'm not saying that or whatever. So she was basically like, Frankie was talking for her and she's like, hold up, bitch, like, I ain't saying that, okay? So, um, Zach wants to talk to Nicole, trying to get, like, who her target is. Nicole's not budging, and he laid all the cards on the table. He told her, you know, we were working, me, what, me, Frankie, uh, Derek, Cody, and Christina are all in lines called the detonators, which happened two weeks ago, blah, blah, blah. And then Nicole's like, oh, my God, like, what? And then that's when she told um, Zach that... I swear to God that Frankie told me to put up you, Caleb, Zach, and you, Caleb, um, Derek, and um, um, Cody. And then Zach's like, what the fuck? He's like, this girl over here, what? And then he's like, I guess he was like, are you sure? She's like, yeah, I'm sure. And honestly, this episode was the best episode until the ending, which ruined it. But anyway. Um... After that, Cody, um, Zach told all them three guys what has happened, and then Caleb was so angry, he's like, like, beast mode cowboy, what? And then everybody was like, whoa, like, I can't believe he did that, I can't believe he turned on the lines, and, and then that's when, um, and that's when Caleb volunteered to be up on a pawn against Frankie, and then, and then, um, the, nomination ceremony came up and then Nicole's nominees were Frankie and Caleb um and then Christine's nominees were Zach surprisingly to me at least because they're supposed to be in alliance together and who else was and Donnie 
and then the battle of the block comes she comes and it was a two-way it's sort of like that thing that big brother seven had which which was a half have not come no which was a food competition because they didn't have have nots it was a food competition where you had a where two people had to pull like the lever but it was a little bit different because you had to pull chains and oh my god oh and, be, and after the nominee ceremony frankie called like frankie zach called frankie and christine bitches or whatever he's like fuck you whatever and then Zach's like, I mean, then Frankie's like, oh, like, what are you talking about? I had your back, blah, 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 whatever. And then he's like, he just, he was giving him, like, the cold shoulder, and I guess Frankie didn't know what was going on. So anyway, <sighs> the Battle of Black competition comes, and oh my god, I could not stop gagging at this part. This part was amazing, like, <sighs> so, let's get into this. So, Caleb was going to throw the competition. And, oh my god, I have to say that this episode was right on the money with me. I predicted two things that came true. You could, like, oh my god, it was so funny because I already knew Caleb was throwing the competition, right? So, I said, it'll be, if I, Caleb should sit down and he should be like, you could do it yourself. Because I was saying, if Caleb wants to be a real nasty cunt with Frankie, he's gonna sit his ass down and not e and not even play. And then um, Caleb was just looking at the at the thing because it it was um you had to do ten. It was like a it was like a thing like this, and then it had like ten little ball points where you had to put the balls and na navigate to towards. And the winner would go to like an L and the winning team would go on an L NFL event and the head of household, I guess you could say. And I wasn't paying attention, so. Frankie was telling Caleb, Caleb is all about communication. We have to do this. And then Frank, and Caleb was just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, and then he's like, and then Frankie's like, Caleb, look at me. Look at me, Caleb. And then Caleb's like, like, and then Frankie in the dining room was like, Caleb not looking at me already makes me realize that he's going to throw this competition. And, oh my God, Caleb told him, you could, you are a snake. You're the reason why Amber went home, and I'm not, and I'm not gonna, and I'm gonna throw this. And then, and then Frankie's like, you're gonna throw this just because, um, I, I evicted Amber. He's like, no, you threw all of our names in the bus. You're, you're a snake. And, the, and then Zach's like, yeah, you're the head. Like, oh my god, everyone started taking up on him. And honestly, like, I'm half and half a malicious person, but the, but the bitch side of me totally thinks that he should have deserved, deserved that. But of course, if, if I was rooting for him I would have been like oh my god how could they treat him I hate Caleb but Caleb sit, sat his ass down and told Frankie you're gonna do this yourself and oh my god me and my sister were yelling I was like oh my god he did what I said I was gonna he said what I said oh my god he ran my mind oh my god that was so hilarious like epic it was like oh my god he just read my mind and no need to get into this I was yelling, I was cheering, I almost did a death drop, I did a mini death drop, I, I was voguing, the fact that Frankie was going to lose, the motherfucker wins, and I'm just like, oh, oh, oh my god, like, I was so mad, like, I was so mad. Like, Daniel motherfucking Donato said, there's a zombie in here who we keep killing but just won't die. And guess who that is? Like, oh my god. And I was so pissed off. Like, I swear to god, I was so mad. And the fact also, if I was Donnie and Zach, I would have been so embarrassed. I would have been embarrassed. I would have self-evicted. Like, I would never do that. But you obviously must go home if one person beat two. Like, honestly, Frankie, you knocked it out of the park, but I kind of wanted you to go home. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry about it. Not sorry about it. But, oh my god, like, and I know there's, I have, like, I'm going to probably have to get a disclaimer, because I know it's it's sort of like the um, Alyssa thing from last season. If you didn't like, if the house kids didn't like Alyssa, then everyone would hate them or something, or Rachel Riley would go would do an anti against them or whatever, you know? So, like, that's just my thing, though, like. Oh my god, like, like, obviously, oh my god, this is just so, and he's staying in Christine's HOH, oh my god, this is, 
this is all terrible. And then Nicole gets a big pot of meatballs, I don't know, thrown at her. and It just sucks. It sucks. I seriously... <sighs> like, I'll get into that later. But, hunty. So, oh, and also, the other part I said, I, I told my sister, it would be so funny if he's, if he's going to reveal a secret that he's Ariana Grande's brother right now. I'm going to reveal my secret that I'm Ariana Grande's brother. <laughs> that was so hilarious because I even said it would be funny if he did it that week. And he did it that week. I was like, oh, my God. So, Frankie and Zach were in a tobacco and they were like, and, and then um, Zach was saying, you're a backstabber, you lie, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, oh, that's part of, that's big brother. But honestly, like, this is what I told my sister. You never turn on your showmans. Honestly, that's dead and done. Like, when, like, when um, Amanda, no, when Amanda and McCray on the block, were on the block, McCray did not um, vote against Amanda. He stuck by her. And whenever Amanda was on the block, he never voted against her. Same as, um, with, um, same, like, with every showman, you never go against your partner like he obviously did that three times like the week two frankie was campaigning for zach to leave week whatever he when zach was going home but kayla brought up numbers he was ready to evict them he threw him under the bus again like that's why like i don't know i don't know about that so he tells his his fellow house guests that he's Ariana Grande's brother and everybody was like, Oh my god, Victoria was like, Oh my god And then Victoria in the dining room was like, Frankie, if you think you're gonna receive special treatment, well ugh, good luck, you're not and that's like that's that's my thing though. Like I know he was trying to be real with everyone, but honestly I feel like if you're gonna reveal that your sister's a famous pop star or whatever Mega, mega pop star. Mega pop star. Okay, okay. Mega pop star. Okay, not a pop star. A mega, mega pop star. Like, freaking out of this world, girl. So, just, just letting y'all know that, if you guys didn't know. So, um, and everybody was saying, nobody's gonna treat you different. Like, everybody in that room's like, if you expect special treatment, like, you ain't getting it. Like, that's obviously my thing. Like, I don't know. Like, like... I don't like I don't really know and this is my thing too it was Wednesday no Wednesday's episode was I don't that's all I remember and the Wednesday's episode with Vito and the six people that were gonna compete were Christine of course the head of household bitch the two nominees were Shrews Donnie and Zach and then it was Nicole I believe and then it was Caleb and who was the sixth person and Derek. And it was Otep! Oh my god, I absolutely love Otep. And it was the voice of Digit from Cyber Chase. If y'all are from, you know, the early 2000s, y'all know what I'm talking about. Cyber Chase. Cyber Chase, we're moving. We're beating Hacker at this game. So I'm suddenly sending out black girl singing and rapping something, something. Oh my god, I absolutely love that song. My favorite character is Jackie. I love, like, her little sassiness, you know? Like, is she's the one that goes, ew, ew, and double, ew. I know, I love Jackie. She is BS. So anyway, um, it was the, the guy from Digit. I was like, oh my god. And Zach ended up winning the veto. So I think sixth place was Donnie. Fifth was, I think, Nicole. Fourth was Derek. Third, I think, was Christine, maybe. I don't know. Second was um, Caleb. And then first was Zach. So Zach won the veto. And um, the if Zach stayed on the block, then the, um, the target would be Donnie. And then I think um, Derek started to talk about that he was he was um, holding Victoria close because um, he um, because he wants um, someone to work with him. So he promised her the final two, and then he said in the in the diary room in case you know um, Cody isn't around for whatever reason, I'm gonna bring Victoria, whatever. And then I think Zach started to tell Victoria that oh you know that I've been working in alliance with Derek and blah 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 and he, he was in another alliance and Victoria was so hard for which like I can't believe he lied to me it's like he cheated on me and then and then um and then Zach told told her no he didn't do anything like that don't tell him and then Zach again put his foot in his mouth and then he went to Derek saying Nicole told her and then and then um 
Derek's like, I don't quite believe you, boy. So he went to Nicole and we went to Victoria and then he brought the whole house up there to go discuss it. And then Zach admitted his faults and they're like, okay. And then I'm be so mad because I feel like Zach's going to be a target instead of Frankie. And, um, I don't know. Oh my God. Like, like, I don't know. It's just like, I just, there's something about him. I just am not a fan of Like, I'm not going to say I don't like him, but there's just something about him, which doesn't sit right well with me. I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know. But anyways. Um, I think that was it. Oh yeah, and then and then everyone threw Nicole under the bus and they were telling lies to Christine saying that if Frankie were to win the veto, she, Christine would have been the, the second choice to go up and then Christine's dumb. It's like, oh my god, my best friend told me that! And then Christine made a dumbass um, remark saying, oh that... I'm going to give my knife, the knife in my back to the rightful owner. They all go up on the block. And that got me so pissed off. Like, seriously, Christine, I hope when you get evicted, which I hope is soon, you get mobbed by tomatoes, okay? I hope the audience are going to have tomatoes to throw at you. Like, I seriously hate you. Like, okay. I don't hate you. But it's very hard to do that when you're acting like a cunt. That's all I'm saying. And, um, Thursday show comes and poor Nicole was crying and she was saying, I can't trust anybody in this house and it's so hard to see her because she's such a sweet girl. <sighs> but what could you do? And then Thursday's show comes and Frank, I, I, but this is the thing I heard in the, in Don Wallman was talking, I think, and he was saying, oh, a Frankie, Caleb and Victoria are going to the NFL event and the Thursday show said that Christine was going so I don't know if that was a little a little like error but that's what I heard I heard that Wednesday show so Thursday show comes and they all went and honestly like I am the typical gay guy who does not watch football so or baseball whatever the hell they were going to so I would just been like hi like like, yeah, a random person who's buff and tall. Can you sign my hat? Like, I honestly don't know what I was in. I would actually, like, I know, like, it's an opportunity of a lifetime to get out of the house. But I would have gave it to mine who's, who would have, like, who would, who loves baseball, you know, or who loves whatever. I would have given my pass away because, honestly, it would have been strategy. But also, like, I would have really enjoyed it, you know. And I would, it would, I would feel bad taking the opportunity away from someone who's a bigger fan than I am, you know. Jenna. So after that, Nicole was campaigning for um, her to stay. She was during Donnie under the bus, um, telling, saying that, oh, you know, that um, um, Donnie would go against you, Derek, and you on oh, stupid Team America failed their mission, whatever. So um, you know they were. So you know Nicole was needed three votes to so say she pulled Christine in. She was telling Christine, um, you know. I feel like Donnie would go after you. I'm not going after you, Derek or Cody, which is true because she wanted to make an alliance with Derek and Cody until they stabbed her in the back, I guess. Oh. But anyway, votes come up. Nomination ceremony comes up. Oh, and it's so, f I love this part and I'm glad Victoria said this. So, Julie Chen asked Victoria, what was the most shocking part of the house this week? And guess what she said? The fact that I was so emotional and I'm so glad of course the most shocking part was the big elephant in the room if y'all know what I'm talking about I don't need to say of course but oh my god and I totally forgot to mention this also on Wednesday's episode Frankie said he was gonna use the money for for cha for charity and and, and uh, for kids in Africa to build schools And Zach was crying in the diary room saying, you know, he's already going to win America's favorite, which is true. He's going to win it no matter what. Even if he was evicted week one, he still would have won it. But, you know, just like Alyssa last year, it was already rigged towards her. So guess who's going to get it rigged towards him? So, um, you know, um, Zach is like, oh, you know, he already he's already won America's favorite. And I feel like an asshole being here because I'm winning the money for myself or whatever. And people thought it was strategy. People thought it was whatever. But honestly, like. What you do with the money is your own personal matter. Like, I 
Like, I can't get into money situations because my idea of money is different than others, I guess you could say. And I'm already going past 20 minutes, so I have to wrap this up and I'm not even done halfway. So my idea with money is so much more different than everybody else's. But the thing is that I'm not sure how to explain it. To think someone who says he doesn't have money is going to donate the 500 G's to charity while his sister, who's worth about 10 times or 20 times more than all the Hoskas put together, I'm not sure is con contributing to it. This is my thing. I don't feel like it's the poor people example me Derek everyone in the house to provide for charity like yes we could give to charity once in a while but I feel like it's also the responsibility for the famous people because they obviously have more money than us because when I see a famous person saying oh please donate today like I'm sorry I'm the one with the empty wallet of zero dollars in my pocket and you're the one with the what 10 grand 20 grand freaking 10 million dollars in your fucking bank account and you're telling me to donate like bitch no wrong queen wrong girl mama because I'm not the one okay because honestly like I ain't got no money and I'll be happy to contribute but I they always have the expression that the poor people are the most generous people and yes I'm a generous motherfucking bitch okay unlike all you famous people who buy Ferraris and get you fucking get your fucking um nails done with diamond sprinkles on them guess what bitch this cost me one dollar bitch this fucking nail polish cost me one dollar and I'm proud of the work I done okay I don't need no 10k diamonds to put on my nails okay that is my shit that's what that's what I think because honestly when when fame goes into people's heads I don't I don't not like that take for example Justin Bieber a poor person who's super poor he's he's fucking up his life and I don't honestly I don't like that at all like like he used to be a teenage guy teenage sweetheart I guess you could say and then money ruined his life that's why I feel like that's why I feel like money makes people so greedy and I'm and that's what I'm kind of glad the fact that Frankie's giving the money to charity the fact that he's not gonna let the money get the best of him or whatever the fuck it is because obviously he has a he has a brand and he has a platform where he could do that from but I just hate the fact where where he's competing to give money to charity while I don't think his sister's doing jack shit I could be wrong I could be wrong but I'm not sure if his sister is giving money to charity and stuff I'm not really sure you know because I don't know but anyway Nicole gets evicted on Ignatius vote. I was crying. I was sad. I was bitching. The two HOHs, of course, are the least people I wanted to win. It was pretty irrelevant. Zingbot's coming, and Nicole was so sad because she wanted Zingbot to come. And she wanted to be there when Zingbot was there. And I have predictions of what the Zingbot is going to say. There's how many people in the house? There's, wait, eight people, I think. Wait, are there? eight people so I feel like they're gonna talk about um with Caleb they're gonna make a thing about his obsession with Amber of course Victoria they're gonna probably make a um a thing about her being a floater or her crying a lot Frankie of course being Ariana Grande's brother and writing her coattails um who else who else I think I'm not sure Donnie probably about his beard or him not I think Cody, I feel like Cody is a floater. Like, he's not even mentioned in any episodes. And let me tell you, Cody's haircut was R-A-T-C-H-E-T. -E I don't know if that's how you spell it, but it was ratch to the motherfucking it. It was not cute, boy. Like, get that shit, get that shit redone, because that scraggly thing was not cute. And, um... And I think they're going to just talk about Cody being lazy, maybe, not even being mentioned on the show. They're going to be like, I see a ghost in the house. He's not even here. Oh, it's Cody. You know, something like that. That's what I feel like. And Julie Chan announced that the four, first four jury members are going to have a chance to come back. So it's Jocasta, Hayden, Nicole, and someone that's going to be evicted this week. And I hope what happens is the fact that Frankie's nominees win and... Derek's nominees don't do jack shit and they sit and act like an anti cunt like I was thinking <laughs> anyway 
and I hope Rangi gets backdoored, and I, and I know he's going to come right back by public vote, so. That is what I am thinking, motherfuckers. So anyway, oh, sorry, not sorry. Hate me. Love me or hate me. JoJo's metaphor. I love Will Heiser, motherfuckers. Bye.